Okay, I've only just loaded up everything. Um, I was too inundated with work to get started early as I like. Let's start off by reading Adam Mancini's tweet. <coughs> All right, ultra rage bound continues as ES stuck in the tightest range in three years scalpers market and pinned to 4150 for three days all moves above and below trapping plan today 4148 support as long as above 4160 416670 breakout and play 4148 fails we see 4133 4120 i know it sounds like that's on repeat um let's start off by going to es maximize well first thing i've noticed is that we've gotten above this channel finally this channel has been so helpful that i wish i had traded fully this channel friday's um put at the end of the day or was that was that thursday <clears throat> thursday's put would have been beautiful <clears throat> uh, actually was that friday i guess that's friday i don't know this this thing confuses me I don't know if this is Thursday and then this is what's happened or this is Friday and then this is what happened. But anyways, we reached 4135 and we've been rallying since we've broke out from the channel. It looks like we've broke, we're trying to break out from this trend line and fell back below. Again, it amazes me that this trend line is where it is because I'm fairly certain there was a trend line running along here and I don't know maybe I accidentally deleted it I don't know what happened um, so let's reread 4148 is support so that's this right here confluent to the breakout of this channel and then 4160 which unfortunately is really just right there above if we can get to 416670 here then we will break out out of this range I know it's been a tight range but the range has been slowly descending should be a similar case on spy yes Uh, interesting. So Vic started Sunday at this daily below wherever it's been this week. <clears throat> this this daily has been holding it from going above this week, but we started below it on this daily. But we're pushing down. Interesting. I don't know if I'm seeing a pattern here. maybe maybe it's also time i get rid of some of these lines but uh, let's, let's just let's just wait and see i'm not making it larger because it's more important i'm just trying to differentiate it from well i mean it's kind of going the opposite direction so that should tell me it's differentiated I'm curious if this is what we're going to reach today. Uh, what else? Let's look at things on TradingView. I know I'm rushing through this. Hold on. Let's, let's try and find some free market supply and demands. Demand formed here, but of course this is pre-market. And try the 30. We have a 30 minute supply that formed here. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Let's try the hour. Hmm, a nice demand formed here overnight. And yeah, this daily's 4133's Adam's next support and it held. 
meaning if you were up at two, three in the morning, or if you decided to put a a buy in here. This is Sunday, right? Sunday, yeah. I I assume so. No, I don't know. Oh no, this this was Friday. I'm sorry, because I have this at a one hour. This was our dip on Friday, and then our rally. And then we, we had a fake breakdown of Friday's low, and then a rally. All right. Should I put that hour here? No, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to hold on to this daily. All right, so now it looks like it's by. Ugh, I know it's a mess. Same thing. Supply formed here. Usually I'll mark the 30s, but because it's pre-market, I'm, I'm not going to bother right now. And this must have been a previous demand that we ended up bouncing well, on the third and on one hour. Um, oh yeah, so that's a one hour and a 30 supply. I didn't realize that. All right. Now let's take a look at trading view. I will never not, not do that. It's so annoying. Yeah, I don't really see anything different on trading view either. I haven't updated my oh, I don't I wonder if it's time to get rid of this. Yeah, break out of that channel. I wanted to update my DMAs. 200. It really, the movement's just tight chop, it really hasn't changed. All right. All right, so the plan today is <clears throat> obviously 41. Let's make sure I have 4133 correct. Because Lord knows that this, I have my 4135 as a daily. <clears throat> yep, this is off. I got to have two 4135s. Oh, man. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So we bounced exactly at 4133 overnight. So this is not 4137 anymore. There's no way I could get every single one of these levels wrong, man. There's no way. So this is actually 4133. I'm just going to make it 4135. And I believe this one down here is actually 4128. Let's see. No. No, this is more like 4130 or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> this is absolutely not 4135. I have, look at this, look at this. 4130. This is gotta be 4128, which I have another level there. <clears throat> Just ridiculous. All right. And then 4160 is here. So, okay, so this is. This is somewhat accurate. 
and it's like we're already popping off at uh, VWAP, so if we do get the breakout today, obviously I can't trade 4160, oh my god, look at the face, unlock. <clears throat> Next is 4170's breakout. <clears throat> wow, look at this thing. I don't know if this is really true rally or this is just faking. Oh my god, when will I stop doing this? Sorry, as you can tell, I didn't sleep well and just my brain's not braining as usual. Well, I guess this breakout is probably what's making people push this. But look at that, from 40. So if I was up earlier and I got my crap together and I traded earlier, I would already be up. Well, that's assuming I would get in the bottom here. <clears throat> 413, well, that's one strike above. Let's zoom out a little bit. 4171, yeah, 413 is the right one to pick. Form the demand here. An interesting turnaround. Let's see if it'll push back down the view up and pop again. Oh, interesting. On ES, we're, we're popping from um, this trend line here. And we rejected exactly at 4160, which also seemed to form a supply um, on Friday afternoon. That's a pretty strong rejection. A lot of sell orders were set up there, I guess. <clears throat> but yeah, if you went long at 3 in the morning, only to sell here, this is pretty good. This is a 30-point uh, rise. And if you're doing futures and you got massive a massive size um, account, you just go ahead and set your buy order somewhere around 4135 while you're asleep and set your sell at 4160 just follow Adam and Cindy's newsletter and you actually could just sit in bed and just scale everything out here or most everything out I'm wondering if I should have gotten in here when we got down to the high 40s. That was a pretty strong push. Uh, yeah, and we formed a 30 minute demand between this candle and here. So this is 15 and a 30 right here. I'm going to go ahead and mark it. And all I can do really is hope that we get a retest. Uh, let's see if we can get a retest somewhere in the high 40s. Yeah, but on the VIX, this looks also like a pretty strong drop. So, only only we're pulling back against this line now, which I guess is still relevant. But I don't think this is going to hold for too long. I might be wrong, of course. Of course. Look, I have 4161 here. But we're not. We're actually at 4157. 4161 is actually up here. Incredible, man. There's no way I can constantly have all these levels wrong. Let's try and make a note of this. Let's try and make it. This this peaked exactly at 4160. We saw that on ES. Exactly at 4160, which is about to return to right now. So let's adjust that on SPY. 
4160. And watch a few days later, this is going to be wrong. Four one six zero. <clears throat> this is more like four one seven four one five six. Incredible man. All right, so assuming this is accurate, once again we've got the four one six zero bulls pushed it back up again, and supply kicked in. And it's rejecting again. In truth, though, I, I what I would have rather have done this morning is somehow, if I can scrape the bottom, get 45, 40, and then sell at 60, 65, make 20 bucks, and done. I'll walk away. Done trading for the day. Oh, I have an assignment to do. Sorry, I gotta come back to this. All right, you see we had one more push just above. This is going to break. Any moment, this is going to break. The bears are trying to push this down. But this is going to break, and it's going to pop up to 4177 next. So most definitely this is a this should have been taken long at the bell. I should have taken the indication that we broke out of this channel as a bullish indication as soon as the bell rung, taken this long. If I could have gotten the low 40s, I would already be up 30 bucks right now. 30% of like a 30% increase in the account size. At the very least, I should have got back in at this push back down here, or even more importantly, down here when I thought about it in the low 40s. And if this does make it to 4171, this will probably be a $40 in um, profit right here. So almost 50% of the account. Interestingly, <clears throat> VIX seems pretty choppy, but <clears throat> SPY doesn't always follow VIX, so again, only thing I can hope for is that this pushes back down and I get a retest of the demand and then we can pop back up, but I don't think that's going to happen at this point. Yeah, I should have known. I, should, I said it this morning in the pre my pre-market prep. I said, listen, we've broken through this channel. This is very bullish. And if somehow magically I could have gotten in in the low 40s, if this pushes up a little bit higher and I sell, again, yeah, this will be a $40 profit. And VIX is going down. Part of me is debating about just going in now. Or see if I can find it. See how far back this can push. Take it long. And hope that the bulls turn it around and continue to push higher. And once again, the bears are trying their best to keep it below 4160. Of course, if I take it long now, that's going to be most of the account. So. I would need that would need the bulls to turn it around and push back up again. And if they don't, if they fail, if this happens to be the high for a while, then that's it. I've I've risked the entire almost the entire account for what a loss. I don't like that. Yep, I say it and look. If had I gotten in, sitting here doubting myself, doubting the plan, little little quick scalp, I should have just got in. If 
if I could have gotten at 65, no, did it go to 65? I think it went to 66. No, I need to stick with my plan. I need this to come back down far enough to retest the demand that formed this morning. Otherwise, this will just be a day I, I won't make any money. Unless I see a short trade. All right. I say it, but look, look. If this thing can succeed in pushing up further to 4167, 4170, I think it's going to do that. There we go. New candle now. That first 50 minute candle's closed. Had I gotten in at this pullback, let's say I got in at 70, I can still sell here at 80. What would have been nice is this would be four days in a row profit. 10% account increase, not bad, right? But I didn't listen to myself. And if I had gotten back in here at 65 or 66 and hold out, if this pushes a little bit higher, it would be $20 if it can come back up higher. And the bulls are successfully fighting any effort from the bears, pushing this higher and higher. Now part of me saying, forget it, man, getting an 80. This is going to hit 100 soon. Get your 20 bucks. Uh, Adam Mancini. Quick follow through as ESF running to today's targets with first 30 minutes. 4160 was up first. Hit 416670 is next above. Decent resistance cool off zone with breakout leg to 4180 starting above. 4148 must keep holding or we unwind to 4133. Yeah, I'm still debating, should I get in here at 75 and let this thing run? I should have. I should have put it at 75. I hesitated. This is going to run now. Fine. All right, let me look another chance. This is going to be the entire account, though. After this, I can't trade anymore today. I have to trust that the bulls push this up higher. Although a supply is forming here. Ugh. Let's just do it. Am I too late? You know what? It's just too much of my account. Maybe I'm making excuses, but it's too large of a, of a trade. <clears throat> I'm probably going to regret that later. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna regret it later. I see no resistance on VIX. VIX has room to go down a little bit more. So yeah, this, this should pop eventually. I should have gotten in at the low 70s. 75 was the plan. If I was in at 75, I'll set a sell at maybe 86. Which is gonna get there soon. And I think just a few minutes ago, I could have gotten at 65 and sold here at 85. What the bulls don't want though is to form a supply here, but I don't think that's going to happen. What intrigues me is, is that even though we're chopping here on, well, no, let me show you VIX. So I don't see any resistances on VIX. Of course, it looks different on my other chart, though, as it always does. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now the question is, do we get in at 70? Or let's see if this pops down a little bit more. With the expectation and the hope, although I hate trading based on hope as opposed to a strategy, um, that bulls don't want to create a supply here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll flag here a little bit. And it will come down a little bit more and then we'll pop. Look at that. I could have gotten at 70. Sold at 81. Yep, just as I said, they want to make sure that this is a form of supply and they've already pushed it up. Yeah, I definitely should have got in here at 70. 
and set a cell at 81. Scrape another 10 bucks for the day and just call it. <sighs> Keep walking away or missing opportunities. Anyways, all I can hope is that this continues to bull flag if it does, but I don't think it will. And then maybe I get another chance to get in at maybe 70 or 65 before it pops. In the meantime, I gotta, I gotta save some paperwork here. Supply formed and we're dropping. I almost got in here at 70. <clears throat> You know, which this supply gone. Could we have a bounce at VWAP? Now it's possible we may have a bounce at VWAP or at 4160. Now that we've reclaimed it, bulls don't want to lose it, but we didn't stay above it for very long. I was going to see if we have a little bit of a pullback to 65. We're at 4159 now. Looks like the bears are trying to break this below 4160 again. That's giving me 65, but I'm having trepidations about going long. I have a feeling that the bears are stepping in strong and they're going to push this down even more. We've just lost VWAP, we've just, we just lost 4160, 4157. Is it possible we may end up bouncing at this trend line from before? This confluence here where we rallied? I don't know. Oh, it's already coming. It's already coming with a bounce. Those have reclaimed VWAP. They're about to reclaim 4160. So here we go. Uh, I was just about to pull the trigger. I just don't like this though. I don't like going long right below a supply that was formed and then retested. I'd rather wait till we get closer to the demand, which I don't think is gonna happen, but I'm gonna be greedy. I need that to happen for me to go long. I'm gonna hate myself probably because if I had gotten in here at the low fit, the high 50s, bulls are gonna reclaim 4160. And they're going to push this back up to where it was before. So we'll go from high 50s to 80. <clears throat> or at the very least, if I got in at 65. And this makes its way to 75, I can squeeze out another $10 profit. But again, I'm going, it'll be me going long 
just below a supply being formed. And if the bulls fail to get this above here by the close of, well, I think this candle, yeah, I think 1015, then we would have formed a 30 minute supply. Well, we'll see. No doubt it's going to turn around and come back up and I'm going to hate myself. I should have gotten in down here and we're going to be up to 80. Let's, I'll be back when it does. Well, just like I said, <clears throat> a few minutes ago, we got back down to 60 again, and I thought about going long, and I hesitated. And look, the supply is now broken. So from 60, and it just peaked at 75, and it's going to go up to 80. So I should have followed my gut and just dumped the strategy. Got in at 60. And look at that. Look at that. So no bull flag formed. Just this just a quick loss of 4161 and then a reclaim of it. And this is gonna hit 80 in a moment. So from 60 to 80, 20 dollar profit. Better yet, I should have gotten down here. And look at it, it's just pushing now. And that temporary loss of view op. And there we go, we just hit 80. So if I gotten at 60 down here, like I should have, set my sell at 81, $20 made, done, could walk away, another day of profit. But I keep hesitating and keep justifying why I shouldn't take the trade. This kind of is gonna close in one minute. And the bulls knew what they were doing. They want this to close above this supply. Which I think they will succeed in doing. enough I'm in watch now now it falls yep I made an emotional trade out of frustration Foolish, absolutely foolish. Not only did we lose the, how do I put this? Not only was this a fake breakout of the supply, but now this candle starting weak. And bullets have lost 4161 again. So it looks like I've just destroyed my three day, my streak of profits, unless the bulls can turn this around.
it's going to be a struggle to get over that supply line and i don't know if they're going to do it part of me is saying just exit now and get back most of your your investment but if if they can push past the supply and power back up to adam and Sini's target of 4166 but that's an if a big if What confuses me is we finally broken past the level on VIX. VIX has got VIX, VIX has made a new low for the day. And my foolish impatience, I should have got back in like in the low sixties here. like to see is a strong push to the 80 85 area in fact that's what I should probably do is put a sell at 85 hoping that we can push higher <clears throat> What we also need is a candle close above the supply line. We still have 10 minutes left on this candle, so there's time. Interestingly, VIX is stuck at a spot that was the previous yearly low right here. And I'm hoping it can drop down to here, but... Wants to just stop the video and come back later, but I want I want the whole trade to show. Yeah. 
and on my trading view, let me show you what I'm looking at on my iPad. Jesus Christ. Well, I got it half in one screen on the other. We got our bounce at this trend line here, which is a reclaiming of this channel here. And what I'm hoping is we can push up to here, 4168, 4166, <clears throat> which I think is the next spot for Adam Mancini. If we can push up there, then this really is going to get to um, 85, which is where I have a sell. <clears throat> it's only 10 bucks, but I just would like to make another day of profit. in this case in a while. I gotta add this in. Just for a brief moment, an ever so brief moment, I was in the profits by $1. Technically speaking, that's not profit. That's just breaking even. It'll pay for the commission and buying the, uh, the trade. Seven minutes left until this candle closes. And again, bulls want to close this candle above. I mean, we are above. They've managed to do that. So if it closes here in this area, so be it. But I'd like to see them push a little bit higher. Also, the other problem is the longer it takes them to drag this up slowly, grinding up little by little, theta decay is kicking in. And where 85 was, or 80, it was 82 here, 82 here, and I bet you when we get up here again, it's going to be worth more like 74, 75. We finally push back that previous yearly low mark on VIX and slowly making new lows on the VIX. Sorry, I gotta take this. Okay, this is bad. While I was taking that call, which, um, while I was taking that call, this this was a sudden sell, and bulls almost lost four one six one again, and we pushed back down. Bulls are recovering, yes, but we've fallen back below the supply line. If they can't get it back up that supply line, that's going to be bad, and they're struggling. And now I went from a whole whopping $2 in profit to now back to $10 in a negative. It looks like the bears may succeed in having this close below the supply line. Three minutes left in this candle. We'll have to get it back above. I probably should have just sold to break even at say like seventy six. Two minutes left.
Really, I would love it if the Bulls were just finally put in a strong push to knock this back up to 4168. And then this can now become a demand or a support. But for right now, it's a strong resistance, and the Bulls keep having trouble getting above that line. If I hadn't been so impatient and I waited for this to have a pullback, at least to the low 60s, I could have had a chance to go long for a $10 call here. Or even gotten down here at 63 here, $10 done. One minute till the scandal closes. VIX is still going down. Now my concern is the next candle. There we go. I was worried my next candle will just start will just start to drop. But the bulls stepped in. They did what they had to do. They closed this candle above supply. And now they're pushing. Four one six three, four one six six is the next target. And again, had I not been pin patient and gotten in the low sixties, I could have already sold and made another day of profit. That's it. I'm exiting here at 70. Ah, oh, forget it. Yep. Another emotional trade. I just broke even. My concern is that 4166, sometimes it doesn't quite make it to Adam Mancini's target. Sometimes it gets close to his target and then it falls. 4166, 4170 is the breakout point and a strong resistance. He said it. And my mistake was getting in so high at 74, if I had waited and gotten in lower at 64, 63, I could have sold at 74, 73, made my profit, and then done. Instead, I'll rather just break even and just be done for the day. Unfortunate. Um, I should have sold at 75, 76 to technically break even, but I didn't. I sold at 75, which is exactly break even. So I've made nothing today. I've just, whatever profit, this $1 profit went straight into paying for the commission. But my worry is, again, I might be wrong. I probably am going to be wrong. I'm probably going to be angry at myself because maybe an hour from now we'll finally break above. But my mistake was my entry. I shouldn't have entered so high. My entry should have been in the low 60s. So that was my mistake. And that means there's no more trading for me today because this took up a large, a large amount of the account. The only good news is no money was lost. So, all right, I got to finish up some work. Well, it looks like my gut's been telling me everything I need to know today. <clears throat> if I just listen to it. Look, yes, we broke above that previous supply. And we're going to go ahead and remove this. Remove, remove, remove. Wow, dude. But as I said, 4168 gave me pause for concern. The highest we got was 80. So I, I could have maybe made six bucks. Maybe I did sell a little bit early. But we got close to this and look at that sell off. Hell, if I turned around and went short because I felt like this might be a strong resistance, resistance and Adam Mancini tweeted, he tweeted, 
4168, 4170 is going to be strong resistance. Good spot for a cool off. And look. Although sometimes I wonder, I know the semantics, but when he says <clears throat> pull back, cool off, sell, it's hard to determine. But of course, there's no way he can say, there's no way he can know how much of a cool off it'll be. But my instincts were right. Even though I only broke even, if I didn't sell when I did, look how far this fell. That would have been a $50 plus loss if I held. <clears throat> now it looks like the bulls are doing their best to... Oh, let me go ahead and show you. Yes. <clears throat> they're trying to reclaim this line here. I don't know how successful they're going to be. And let's really look at VIX. It is odd. VIX sort of just turned around out of nowhere. So this sell-off is not a result of VIX. It is a result of 4168 being a very strong... Oh, you know what? It didn't even actually reach 4168. According to this, we got to 4163. Assuming that I can trust this ES levels are correct on um, Thinkorswim. But let's look at trading view. Yeah, 4163. I'll trust trading view more than Thinkorswim. So a new supply has been created here. And a very strong sell-off. Just think of it though. Look how long we waited from 9.30 till 10.30, an hour, to slowly grind up to 4168 from whatever this is. Wherever we started on ES, I, I don't know. I don't have this line set. And in just one candle, it sells off. <clears throat> so imagine if, if we're just we're just perma bear, right? We're perma bear and we wanted to go short. And we said we're gonna take this short once we get to 4168. And our target would be 411, where we started in the morning. So we get a <clears throat> a 411 strike. Look at that. Look at that. And actually, I had enough money. After I sold my call, if I turned around and went short and bought a put at 20 bucks right here, and I had enough to even get in at 28 bucks and let this thing run down to 60, or let's say we just had to go 58 bucks to make 30. Look at that. That, that's, wow. And we can go ahead and remove this demand because that certainly didn't hold it. And who knows how much further this is going to drop. Well, I, we do know. Adam and Senior knows. 4148 was support and we're there now. We're exactly at 4148. Speak, speaking of which, let me go ahead and adjust this. Because, look. Here's where I have 4148. Once again, my levels are off. Let's look at ES really quick. 4148, this line right here. How? Guys, somebody explain it to me. If we lose 4148, we'll drop down to 4133. Here's what may happen. Just out of this candle, a demand may form. We may retest. We may continue higher. Possibly. Either way, I don't think I can trade anymore. My I only have like 28 bucks left in my account. Let's try 413 again. All right, so here's the... God, why did I zoom in so much? If demand forms... 
if the man retest will go long let's uh let's come back and wait and see wait check this out hold on look we broke out of this channel that we were in for a long time on es fell back down but look where we're bouncing right at 4148 right at the exit of this channel it's not a coincidence this may well be where we push back up so yeah let's wait and see what happens here this is going to be a key area It's a slow grind, but what concerns me is we went from 23 all the way up to almost 50, and then a very strong pushback. We have formed a, let me just say it, let me just show you and not just say it. Wow, I have an odd craving for pizza all of a sudden. That's very weird, with lots of tomato sauce. We formed a supply on VIX. Bullish, yes, but the candle's not closed yet. And we're slowly grinding up. I have two choices. Either I be risky and go ahead and go long now because I can afford to, because there's no guarantee when this pushes that it's gonna return and retest 4148. In fact, 4148 has been tested so much. I've lost count of how many times it's been tested over the past week. That's my concern also because this could simply be a drop base drop. We could drop even further. The only confirmation I will have is if this candle closes and confirms a 50 minute demand and closes on VIX confirming a 50 minute supply, we retest the demand here on SPY and then we can rally and then VIX can fall. So we have six minutes to wait and see. But again, the risk is six minutes from now, this could just start to rally. Our next candle will just pop and leave me behind. Remember, I only have 28 bucks in my account. So if this does form a strong demand candle, if it does retest, it has to come all the way back down low enough so I can get in at 27. That's the problem. So if I had gotten in here at 26 and waited, I probably should have done that. And here's the thing, this could still close strong and then this candle can come back and retest, but it could also just drop and fall. It's all a risk, man. That's that's the name of the game with, with trading. It's all a risk. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this candle to close and let's see what kind of a retest we get. All right, one minute until this candle closes. And also, I didn't mention this. This became a 30 minute supply right here. All right, here we go. New candle. This is a very weak demand, um, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take it long and see with a very tight stop loss and see if the bulls can pull this off. Maybe if we can at least get to 35. VIX is still going down. Oof. Remember, we hit 50 here, okay? For me to get 35 accordingly, according to what this is estimate is, I need this to go all the way up here. Wow. Yeah, 
and we're already starting off bad. Oh, there we go. I told I'm gonna make a tight stop loss. We're gonna risk twenty. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. God bless it, you piece of garbage app. Done. Alright, so it's a loss for the day. I did try again. It was a risk. Drop, base, drop, it looks like. Oh, I was really hoping to get a fourth day of profit. I should have just went long here when I had the chance. So it's like a $7 loss on the day, $5. Oh my God. Of course, even, even the mobile app of Thinkorswim is trash. I just want to go look at my account and they tell me I have to log in again. <sighs> Still, it is possible we'll get a bounce at 4148 and it'll turn around and just start to rally. But I wanted to do a tight stop loss because if this loses, if this falls, it's going to fall quick and hard. But I probably was impatient. I probably should have had a stop loss at like 15 or something like that. And give this room to work. Because sometimes this happens. Sometimes the demand is formed. It retests well below the demand area and then comes back up. But this level of volatility is... It's crap. Uh, I should have stopped when I had a chance, man. I, at least I could say, hey, I didn't lose money. I broke even. But yeah, I definitely should have gone long at the belt based on the breakout of this channel. And I definitely should have at least tried again here to squeeze a quick scalp before we got to 4168. Or, and again, this never even occurred to me, I could have taken 4168 short and seeing if we retest 4148 as a 20 point drop in one 50 minute candle. Hell, I could have gotten two $20 options, or $25 options, and taken that short for a pretty, a pretty good profit. And look, here we go, it's turning back around. Or, it, it was? I don't know, I think I'm going to step away at this point. Alright, let's take a closer look at VIX. And you can see VIX is continuously rising, so no no point in going long anymore. Um, although 4148 is still holding, strangely. But in any case, let's take a look at this level. Let's see if this is, coincides with any other levels. I'm sure it does. Yeah. You can almost see it here. Rejection, 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 support, support, rejection, rejection, support. So this is a pretty important, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this yearly low because this seems to not really matter anymore. Let's see if we can find a, a daily or something or hourly here. All right, let's try four hour. It looks like it's more an hour. Nice. 
not even. All right, we'll just keep it here for now. We'll just make this one of these yellow levels, a weak level. And the less clear rejection here, this may make its way to the daily. So yeah, to recap, should've went long at the bell, should've went long at any of these pullbacks, especially this one. Scalped a quick 10, 15, 20 bucks, and then left. It is good that we exited when we did. We tried another long, but uh, just didn't quite work out. Oh, and at this rate, we're gonna reach 4135. All right, tweet from Adam Mancini. <clears throat> Intense range bound action continues in ES and now spent three days ping ponging between 4130 and 4170. My targets today were 4160, then 4166, and we got to 4164.25. <clears throat> Trip back to 4133 in play. Key supports. Bulls must reclaim 4148 to rally. 4133 fails, we test 4120, gate to the big leg down. So I'm done for the day pretty much, but it looks like the best play of the day would have been to take this short. My gut told me to sell early to break even because there's a chance that we may not make it to 4168, which of course, as it turns out, this isn't 4168. I, I don't know. I don't know if it really is or not. Um, but we made it to 4164 before the big sell. Uh, we tried to bounce at 4148, as you can see here. I remember I said this could be a drop base drop. Well, that's what happened. So bulls tried to recover here, failed, and we dropped. But it's not as strong a drop as it was here, clearly. But um, 4142 may work, assuming this is even right. Yeah, at least I have this right. But if it doesn't, then we're going to go down to 4135, 4133. We'll revisit it pre-market. So, again, a perfect futures market. If you set your buy-in somewhere around you, set your sell somewhere around you, and then if you wanted to risk it and go short right here, and keep your, and, you know, maybe scale out between here, here, and here, that would be a good play. A win, a win, a win. Let's see if there's any follow-up to this. Nope. What would be wonderful is if I can catch that big sell. I'm hoping it doesn't happen today. And as an update on VIX, nothing really changed. We're still slowly crawling back towards the daily, which might be a good bounce point. <clears throat> Excuse me, bounce point if we can get there. So, yeah. All right, quick update. It turns out, sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses. Uh, what level is this? Let's find out. Let's go to ES. We top down at 4138. So let's adjust this. All right. So we formed a 15 minute demand. There was no retest and we've been slowly, slowly grinding our way back up. Bulls need to reclaim 4148, and if this is right, it looks like they did. We had a quick sell-off and bounced there, and looks like we're back at VWAP. Oh, it's even clearer on ES. Actually, this is a trend. No, it's not. What is this? I don't know what, why I put this level there. I didn't mark it, but I made it, I made it thick. 
So I did that on purpose. It must be an important level. Is this 4148? 4140, okay. I really wish these stupid labels, price level 170, I wish these were all gone. I wonder how to do that. Uh, I gotta figure out some other time, but anyways. So, going back to SPY. If we still had more money in the account to trade and we decided to trade 4142 and have the stop loss below 4138, or if we decided to trade for oh, you know what, whatever let's say we decided to go in long shortly after the recovery of 4142 and this is 412 so this would be a decent strike yeah we could have got in here maybe a 25 30 and it looks like we peaked at 40. hmm but data is this data is definitely making its play vix Steadily going down. We didn't quite make it to the daily, interestingly. I may adjust this daily, but then again, there are days we get right to it. Also, I, I saw, where is on SPY? Look, head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, but it's not a very clean looking one, and this one messes things up. However, if we come back up again here and we don't break this head and we fall, we could be making a, a true head and shoulders later on today or tomorrow for a drop. Also, I saw, let's see if I can find it on ES. Yeah, let's, let's see if I can find You know what? No, I'll just do it here. Hold on. Let's see if, if it forms up. I don't know. I'm just going with that for now. I don't see it as well on ES. But then again, I am blind right now. So, yeah, that's, that's the update. Nothing special. The biggest play of the day was definitely to either just scalp this or take this short. I mean, not either, without a doubt. The biggest play of the day was to take this short. I could have scalped this and made a little bit of money. Definitely would have loved taking this short and um, taking this long at the money or in the money would have been good. Anyways. All right, another update. This will quickly regain 4148 and now we've rallied to 4156. At this rate, we're going to be back where we were when we fell initially, so this definitely would have been a good time to go long. I also wish I had seen this channel before. Um, demand was formed, never retested. In fact, none, nothing today would lean towards MK strategy working. This is strictly level to level at a Mancini play. Take a short here. Well, first of all, you would have gone long, probably at the reclaim of 4148. And you can then go short here at 4168. And then go long again at 4138. And probably would be smart to exit most of your positions here, at, uh, or at the very least at 4161. So yeah, if I had um, more money in my account, I could have taken this long at the retest of 4148 here. This would have been a great time to go long or even here before we finally started our push. So, what are you going to do? All right, another update. We got an hour and about 30 minutes left in the market. It turns out I was right about exiting most positions here at 4156. Yep, after that, we started to cool off a bit back towards VWAP. Um, this I find interesting. Take a look. Let me increase this really quick. 
let's take a look at VWAP. I mean, um, I'm sorry, VIX. So remember this this pattern I found. Was this this morning, or did I find this last week? I think this was this morning. Yeah, look where we went to, and we rejected. So. Uh, still, I, I may need to add a line here because we've had more than a few rejections here. Yeah, you know what? We'll just duplicate this. All right. I know I may have too many of these these minor levels, but um. <clears throat> This is exactly where we bounced and turned around. So, and this line I just added here is where we rejected from, not the daily. Anything new on ES? Not really. Although I'm thinking of adding that line I found on SPY, but I just don't see it on the bottom. That's the problem. Maybe it'll form a cleaner in a couple of days. Speaking of which, I think I said I wanted to look at, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, here it is. I want to see if there's anything special this week. Uh, sorry, uh, jobs report on Thursday, PCE, PCE on a Friday, that seems like that would be an important one, and next week what do we have? This is the beginning of May, this is when things should start getting bearish. Oh, U.S. Fed interest rate decision. That's Wednesday of next week. Unemployment rate, non-farm payrolls is Friday. Yeah, next week was going to be quite the eventful week. Oh, look, we're bouncing a view up. Anyways, well, for, on, on ES we are. Yeah, so that was the update. Um, unfortunate the day ended in negative. It, I should have just left it alone when I was able to break even up here. Um, really should have traded earlier when we had the pullback and then sold here. I could have made as much as 20 bucks here. But um, not much would have given me clues to this, this drop off here other than what happened on VIX. So... Let me, let me clarify what I was talking about. I didn't have this line here before, but this is the big sell-off right here. So I had to add these. I may have to look for these more often. It looks like I may even have one here. But um, I may have to come up with some rule where if over the past you know, five or ten days, if we had more than a few contacts, I got to make a new level thing is they don't they don't become clear on a higher time frame Ugh, anyways okay. I was going to say that this might be the one time today where the MK strategy would work a supply formed here, but it's a very sloppy supply. It actually formed better on a 30 minute, but the problem is it didn't continue going down. We retested here and then we bounced here. Pretty much pretty much close to the VWAP on on ES. And now it's rallying away. So here's a spot where demand forms and if you don't want to wait for a retest you can go along if you didn't get it here or here, or here. 
So you could have gotten in at 40, and we're up here at 60. Which again, if you had 400 bucks to use to scalp, you could just make 50% profits and get 200 bucks right there in just one, two, three, four, five minutes, and even four minutes. Imagine how many people can make 200 bucks in four minutes. Just gotta catch the right entry. Anyways. All right, a late update. I mean, the market closed almost two hours ago, but I was distracted with some work and I just left for a little bit. And I actually have a little bit of privacy surprisingly from the roommate, so um, I wanna go work out, but if I do, she won't have access back. So anyways, tangent, nonsense. Um, yeah, this was almost a complete recovery from the loss earlier, and it's the same theme. We dip midday and then recover sometime later. Um, VIX. God, I hate this. All right. So we ended up breaking out of this little channel and then came down here. So I'm, I'm curious where this is going to lead tomorrow. And um, like I said earlier, this would have been this would have been a good long from 25 to probably selling here at 60. We peaked almost to 75 or we did here at the end of the day. This would have been a nice um, actually here. We have what's called what I would consider in the MK strategy a intermediate demand. It wasn't a major demand. This was the major demand, which would never was retested, but an intermediate demand with a retest right here. This would be a good time to get in here and that 1545 candle, which would have been probably the lowest point would be here, like around 35. We also had a second opportunity here, um, 1555 to get in. Uh, but if you held till right before the market ended, we created a supply right here and could have exited 65, making 300 bucks or 3000 bucks, depending on how you trade. I mean, what you, what you put in. So yeah, I'm a bit upset. This is a, a losing day. I was very much hoping to get a four day streak, but, um, I tried, I tried my luck going long here and it didn't quite work out for me. So what can I do?